What do religion, philosophy, and science all have in common? Well, they are all ways of acquiring knowledge. Say there is a crime scene, and you want to figure out who committed the murder. You want to acquire some knowledge. You can do this either through rational thought and thinking through who might be the most likely suspect of the murder, or you can collect evidence and come to a conclusion about who committed the murder. This leads us to the two branches of philosophy. The first branch is called rationalism, it is acquiring knowledge through rational thought, so thinking through the problem. The second branch is called empiricism. Empiricism is acquiring knowledge through the collection of evidence. So you must have evidence for this branch, and this is what science uses. We must have evidence in science. A science is a systematic system of acquiring knowledge through observation and experimentation. One example of observation is when an astronomer looks at the stars. Experimentation is when something is manipulated in the experiment. For example, when a chemist adds heat to the experiment, they are changing something in the environment. Psychology is a science of human behavior and the human brain. Psychologists might observe the human brain with an MRI scan, or they might observe people and their behaviors. They might do this in a natural environment, like on the street. Or they might bring people into the lab and observe them there. Psychologists also conduct experiments. They do experimentation. In experimentation, they manipulate some part of the environment. So say we have these people here and they're coming up with a plan. We might, as psychologists, change the environment a little bit. We might put a camera there or not. And that will be our variable that we are manipulating. If the camera is there, then maybe they're more creative and take pictures. And without it, maybe they're less creative. So this would be an example of an experiment in psychology.